Welcome back. This is the 10th video of the 2018 to 2022 Technician Class Amateur Radio Question Pool put together by myself, Michael Dickerson, KC9PHK, on behalf of the Clay County Area Amateur Radio Club located in southeastern Illinois. This video will cover sub-element T6D T7A and T7B. So let's get started. T6D covers component functions, rectification, switches, indicators, power supply components, resonant circuit, shielding, power transformers, and integrated circuits. T6D01, which of the following devices or circuits changes an alternating current into a varying direct current signal? A. Transformer B. Rectifier C. Amplifier or D. Reflector The correct answer is B. Rectifier T6D02, what is a relay? A. An electrically controlled switch. B. A current controlled amplifier. C. An optical sensor. Or D. A pass transistor. Correct answer is A. An electrically controlled switch. T6D03. What type of switch is represented by component 3 in figure T2? A. Single pole single throw, B, single pole, double throw, C, double pole, single throw, or D, double pole, double throw. Correct answer is A, single pole, single throw. T6D04, which of the following displays an electrical quantity as a numerical value? A. Potentiometer B. Transistor C. Meter or D. Relay Correct answer is C. Meter T6D05 What type of circuit controls the amount of voltage from a power supply? A. Regulator B. Oscillator C. Filter or D. Phase Inverter The correct answer is A. A regulator T6D06, what component is commonly used to change 120 volt AC house current to a lower AC voltage for other uses? A. Variable capacitor B. Transformer C. Transistor or D. Diode Correct answer is B. Transformer T6D07, which of the following is commonly used as a visual indicator? A. LED B. FET C. Zener diode or D. Bipolar transistor Correct answer is A. LED T6D08 Which of the following is combined with an inductor to make a tuned circuit? A. Resistor B. Zener diode C. Potentiometer or D. Capacitor Correct answer is D. Capacitor. T6D09. What is the name of a device that combines several semiconductors and other components into one package? A. Transducer. B. Multipole relay. C. Integrated circuit. Or D. Transformer. Correct answer is C. An integrated circuit. T6D10. What is the function of component 2 in figure 1? A. Give off light when current flows through it. B. Supply electrical energy. C. Control the flow of current. Or D. Convert electrical energy into radio waves. Correct answer is C. Control the flow of current. T6D11. Which of the following is a resonant or tuned circuit? 
A, an inductor or a capacitor connected in series or parallel to form a filter. B, a type of voltage regulator. C, a resistor circuit used for reducing standing wave ratio. Or D, a circuit designed to provide high fidelity audio. The correct answer is A, an inductor and a capacitor connected in series or parallel to form a filter. T6D12, which of the following is a common reason to use shielded wire? A, to decrease the resistance of DC power connections. B, to increase the current carrying capability of the wire. C, to prevent coupling of unwanted signals to or from the wire. Or D, to couple the wire to other signals. The correct answer is C, to prevent coupling of unwanted signals to or from the wire. All right, sub-element T7 covers station equipment, common transmitter and receiver problems, antenna measurements, troubleshooting, basic repair and testing. There are four exam questions that come from the four groups in sub-element T7. First off, T7A covering station equipment, receivers, transmitters, transceivers, modulation, transverters, transmit and receive amplifiers. T7A01, which term describes the ability of a receiver to detect the presence of a signal? A, linearity, B, sensitivity, C, selectivity, or D, total harmonic distortion? Correct answer is B, sensitivity. T7A02, what is a transceiver? A, a type of antenna switch. B, a unit combining the functions of a transmitter and a receiver. C, a component in a repeater that filters out unwanted interference. Or D, a type of antenna matching network. The correct answer is B, a unit combining the functions of a transmitter and a receiver. T7A03, which of the following is used to convert a radio signal from one frequency to another? A, phase splitter. B, mixer. C, inverter. Or D, amplifier. Correct answer is B, mixer. T7A04, which term describes the ability of a receiver to discriminate between multiple signals? A, discrimination ratio. B. Sensitivity. C. Selectivity. Or D. Harmonic distortion. Correct answer is C. Selectivity. T7A05. What is the name of a circuit that generates a signal at a specific frequency? A. Reactance modulator. B. Product detector. C. Low pass filter. Or D. Oscillator correct answer is D, oscillator. T7A06, what device converts the RF input and output of a transceiver to another band? A, high pass filter. B, low pass filter. C, transverter. Or D, phase converter. Correct answer is C, transverter. T7A07, what is meant by PTT? A. Pre-transmission tuning to reduce transmitter harmonic emission. B. Precise tone transmissions used to limit repeater access to only certain signals. C. A primary transformer tuner used to match antennas. Or D. The push-to-talk function that switches between receive and transmit. The correct answer is D. The push-to-talk function that switches between receive and transmit. T7A08, which of the following describes combining speech with an RF carrier signal? A. Impedance matching. B. Oscillation. C. Modulation. Or D. Low pass filtering. Correct answer is C. Modulation. T7A09, what is the function of the SSB CW FM switch on an VHF power amplifier? A. Change the mode of the transmitted signal. 
B. Set the amplifier for proper operation in the selected mode. C. Change the frequency range of the amplifier to operate in the proper portion of the band. Or D. Reduce the received signal noise. Correct answer is B. Set the amplifier for proper operation in the selected mode. T7A10. What device increases the low power output from a handheld transceiver? A. A voltage divider. B. An RF power amplifier. C. An impedance network. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is B. An RF power amplifier. T7A11. Where is an RF preamplifier installed? A. Between the antenna and receiver. B. At the output of the transmitter's power amplifier. C. Between a transmitter and antenna tuner. Or D. At the receiver's audio output. Correct answer is A. Between the antenna and receiver. Alright. T7B. Common transmitter and receiver problems. Symptoms of overload and overdrive. Distortion. Causes of interference. Interference and consumer electronics. Part 15 devices. Over modulation. RF feedback and off frequency signals. T7B01. What can you do if you are told your FM handheld or mobile transceiver is over deviating? A. Talk louder into the microphone. B. Let the transceiver cool off. C. Change to a higher power level. Or D. Talk further away from the microphone. D. Talk further away from the microphone. T7B02. What would cause a broadcast AM or FM radio to receive an amateur radio transmission unintentionally? A. The receiver is unable to reject strong signals outside the AM or FM band. B. The microphone gain of the transmitter is turned up too high. C. The audio amplifier of the transmitter is overloaded. Or D. The deviation of an FM transmitter is set too low. Correct answer is A. The receiver is unable to reject strong signals outside of the AM or FM band. T7B03. Which of the following can cause radio frequency interference? A. Fundamental overload. B. Harmonics. C. Spurious emissions. Or D. All of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T7B04. Which of the following is a way to reduce or eliminate interference from an amateur transmitter to a nearby telephone? A. Put a filter on the amateur transmitter. B. Reduce the microphone gain. C. Reduce the SWR on the transmitter transmission line. Or D. Put an RF filter on the telephone. Correct answer is D. Put an RF filter on the telephone. T7B05. How can overload of a non-amateur radio or TV receiver by an amateur signal be reduced or eliminated? A. Block the amateur signal with a filter at the antenna input of the affected receiver. B. Block the interfering signal with a filter on the amateur transmitter. C. Switch the transmitter from FM to SSB. D. Switch the transmitter to a narrow band mode correct answer would be A. Block the transmitter signal with a filter at the antenna input of the affected receiver. T7B06. Which of the following actions should you take if your neighbor tells you that your station's transmissions are interfering with their radio or TV reception? A. Make sure that your station is functioning properly and that it does not cause interference to your own radio or t television when it is tuned to the same channel. B. Immediately turn off your transmitter and contact the nearest FCC office for assistance. C. Tell them that your license gives you the right to transmit and nothing can be done to reduce the interference. Or D. Install a harmonic doubler on the output of your transmitter and tune it until the interference is eliminated. The correct answer is 
A, make sure your station is functioning properly and it does not cause interference to your own radio or television when it is tuned to the same channel. T7B07, which of the following can reduce overload to a VHF transceiver from an FM broadcast station? A, RF preamplifier. B, double shielded coaxial cable. C, using headphones instead of the speaker. Or D, a band reject filter. The correct answer is D, band reject filter. T7B08, what should you do if something in your neighbor's home is causing harmful interference to your amateur station? A, work with your neighbor to identify the offending device. B, politely inform your neighbor about the rules that prohibit the use of devices that cause interference. C, check your station and make sure it meets the standards of good amateur practice. Or D, all of these choices are correct. Correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T7B09. What is a Part 15 device? A. An unlicensed device that may emit low-powered radio signals on frequencies used by a li licensed service. B. An amplifier that has been type certified for amateur radio. C. A device for long-distance communications using special codes sanctioned by the International Amateur Radio Union. D. A type of test set used to determine whether a transmitter complies with FCC Regulation 91.15. Correct answer is A. An unlicensed device that may emit low-powered radio signals on frequencies used by a licensed service. T7B10. What might be the problem if you receive a report that your audio signal through a repeater is distorted or unintelligible? A. Your transmitter is slightly off frequency. B. Your batteries are running low. C. You are in a bad location. D. All of these choices are correct. And the correct answer is D. All of these choices are correct. T7B11. What is a symptom of RF feedback in a transmitter or transceiver? A. Excessive SWR at the antenna connection. B. The transmitter will not stay on the desired frequency. C. Reports of garbled, distorted, or unintelligible voice transmissions. D. Frequent blowing of power supply fuses. Correct answer is C. Reports of garbled, distorted, or unintelligible voice transmissions. T7B12. What should be the first step to resolve cable TV interference from your ham radio transmission? A. Add a low pass filter to the TV antenna input. B. Add a high pass filter to the TV antenna input. C. Add a preamplifier to the TV antenna input. Or D. Make sure all TV coaxial connections are installed properly. Correct answer is D. Be sure all TV coaxial connectors are installed properly. Thank you.